everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about this product right here. This is the 17 Mascara. It's the Extreme Extension Lengthening Mascara in shade Navy. So if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know that I have been having a moment with the mascaras being navy or blue. And I went on the hunt to find a decent blue mascara. This is what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be putting it on, I'm then gonna be going to see Jurassic World and giving it a full wear test. Now, I'm going to see Jurassic World and I'm a giant, and I mean huge Jurassic Park, Jurassic World fan. And if Fallen Kingdom is anything to go by, the tears that I'm gonna shed in that cinema are gonna really put this mascara to the test. But anyway, that's me basically saying I feel there's gonna be tears today at Jurassic World. So, Hopefully this gets a full wear test. I'll definitely let you know if I do cry and then I will come back later and talk to you about the mascara. So let's just get into the video. Okay, so this is the mascara we're gonna review. It is in shade Navy. So I was looking more for, for electric blue, but for three pounds, I thought definitely need to give this a purchase. This is what it looks like. It reminds me of the Sky High Mascara Maybelline ones, which I really like. I like this sort of ones. Whereas when you compare it to the Morphe one, let me just show you the colour a lot comes off on this bloody brush. That colour is like electric blue, but this is also a primer. It's not actually technically a mascara, but it is a mascara. So when you see the two, that is definitely navy and that is definitely electric blue. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a separate video on the Morphe one and I will do like a little comparison, like TikTok or YouTube, we'll see which one. I think that'll be a more of a TikTok because it is very, very quick to do something like that. So we're gonna review it. I'm gonna start with my top lashes and we're gonna see what this is like. And it's going on really nice, to be fair, for a £3 mascara. I didn't think it would do. But that's it up to now. You can definitely see it's got, like, the navy tone to it, but from afar, you'd just think I had, like, black mascara on. So I do kind of, kind of like that. It's got more, like, that understated version of it. Whereas the Morphe one is obviously a lot brighter. I do like the way that's applied. It's not too clumpy now blue mascaras can tend to be more clumpier than like your average mascara well than your black mascara but i don't know if that's because there's more pigment in them to make it blue but i do like that up to now i'm gonna do the other eye see how that applies and then we'll do our bottoms on this side now and that's what it looks like up to now as you can see when the light hits you can just see that naviness come through. I'm gonna go back in on this eye. I just wanna see what would happen if I go over the lashes to see if maybe it'll go more blue or my lashes will change. I wouldn't say it adds like a lot of length to the lashes. I'd just say that's like my natural lash, um, like sort of look. I mean, I have I did do a lash lift for Vegas, so these have got not been curled or anything because they're already curly. I mean, this is a three pound mascara. Like, how is this performing better than expensive mascaras? That's what I wanna know. How? So I'm dipping back in and going in on this side. This one, I've got an eyelash that's like growing funny now. Sometimes that can happen with, um, you know, just like it's ready to fall out um, with a lash lift. So if I have to keep going over that area, that's why. So that's it before I do my bottoms. I think we're gonna see the bottoms are gonna look good with this. But I actually like that. I like the fact that it's navy. Obviously I know I've got it on the skin. I need to get that off in a minute. That happens all the time with me and mascara. I'm gonna do my bottom ones and I feel like this is where I'm gonna know if this looks good or not. So that's me bottom ones done. I'm actually gonna get the flash on me other phone to show you what it looks like under better light. So not better light, but like that's the blue under that light. I know that's hard for you to like see, but I just thought I'd try and show you. Like when it hits the light, you can really see that it's navy. 
but from afar it just looks like i've got black mascara on which i like to go for that blue mascara look but you're just not feeling a little bit confident with it at least with this color you would feel a little bit like you just wear a normal mascara and um, no one would probably even question the color you've got on unless you see it in light light do i think it's lengthening not so much i do think it's got a pretty good volume though for the lashes um i just think my lashes look what their natural length is i wouldn't say it's pulled them up or anything more than normal but i do think for three pounds it's actually applied really really well it doesn't feel heavy at all it feels really nice on the eyelashes i don't feel like it's not crispy as much as I thought it was gonna be because of the, the fact it's a navy mascara. You do find these sorts of mascaras just don't have the same outcome as a black mascara and I don't know why. It must be the genetic buildup of a blue mascara with the pigmentation and stuff. Most of the ones I've had in the past have been really crunchy and heavy on the eyes and this doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. So yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised up to now. Obviously a wear test. Um, I'm going out today. Um, I'm going to see Jurassic World and I probably will cry. So we're going to probably see what this is like. If it's anything like Fallen Kingdom, I can't even talk about that moment on the dock on Fallen Kingdom. So I don't know what I'm going to do if they decide to kill Blue or Blue's baby or if I see another Barachiosaurus. I'm not very good at pronouncing dinosaur names. So don't come at me. Um, die. This blue mascara might be trickling down my face, so, you know. But nonetheless, this is what it looks like up to now. I think it's really, really nice. And, um, yeah, I'm loving it. So, I am back from Jurassic World. It was quite good, actually. Pleasantly surprised. This is what my eyes look like. It's been on since 11 this morning, and it is now 20 past 5. No crumbling, no transfer. How is it that this £3 boots... Mascara or number 17 or... I don't actually know who owns this brand. This £3.17 mascara from Boots can literally outdo a Mac Stack mascara. The last mascara I reviewed and it is a 10, between a 10 and 20, I think £25 mascara. This was as much use as a chocolate fire guard and this is amazing at £3. I've got no transfer and I've got no crumble. Do not get me wrong, this created a lot more length. Sorry, my hair, I keep, I keep sitting on my hair if you're wondering why I'm doing this. Um, the MAC obviously volumes and lengthens, but this stays, this stays exactly where it's supposed to. So I don't understand how this brand have got it right. And this brand don't even get it remotely close. And yet there's influencers and makeup artists promoting this. As a work and makeup artist, this is never touching any of my clients' face. Ever. Ever. It's not going anywhere near my clients' eyes. Because I would not put that on my client knowing fine well it's going to transfer and crumble. Sorry, I'm calling out the makeup artist who are promoting this. I have used this since my review and it's the exact same thing. I'm still using it. I've gave it to my mum and my mum's got really short lashes. And she went, don't ever give me that again, that's useless. It was everywhere, everywhere. And you've got work and makeup artists and influencers were reviewing this and saying it's amazing. And then you've got three pound mascaras that actually work. No transfer, no crumble. Now don't get me wrong, some mascaras don't work for everyone. There may be some people who find this works. There may be. And there may be some people who find this doesn't work because not everything works for everyone. I don't believe for a second, if I haven't had any crumble, that you're gonna get crumble. I just don't. I put a good amount of this mascara on and I've had no crumble. I have wiped nothing away. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's probably not one ounce waterproof or water resistant. But neither's most mascaras, neither's this one. Most of them aren't. So I'm just perplexed and so confused. Basically same word, but whatever. How this is so good at three pounds and this wasn't. And I know they're not the same colour, but I just don't get it. I just don't get it because I'm so, so, so shocked that this worked. I genuinely thought I'm going to leave the pictures, I'm going to go to the toilet and I'm going to look like a blue panda. And I don't. I don't. So for £3, I definitely would, if you want to see me review the other colours on this mascara, do please let me know because I will happily go and buy all of them for £3 a pop because I am so pleasantly surprised by this. So yeah, if you are looking for a blue mascara that isn't too blue either, I do think this is like one of the perfect shades because 
it gives you that sort of balance of transitioning into a navy mascara rather than you transferring into an electric blue mascara so yeah definitely definitely recommend this mascara thank you so much for watching if you are wanting to go see jurassic world i highly recommend it if you are a ginormous fan don't expect it to be as good as the others but it kind of i feel like it wraps everything up in a nice little bow and yeah i don't want to talk too much about it because i don't want to spoil anything for anyone um but i didn't cry i nearly did but i didn't ne nearly cried though it was like one of the moments where i was like and then it was all okay, so I didn't need to cry. Um, but yeah, I'm an emotional wreck. I can't watch Wreck of well, Fallen Kingdom where it's on the dock. I have to leave the room. So at least it was none of that this time because I had prepared my mate because I said, if worst comes to worst, you know, I might, I might cry. I did cry Fallen Kingdom and my eight-year-old cousin at the time was like, are you crying? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, why are you crying? And I was like, because my favourite and it was literally an absolute shambles so at least that didn't happen if it did this mascara would have been put to the test even so pleasantly surprised by this so highly highly recommend the 17 navy mascara from boots for three pounds you can't freaking go wrong thank you so much for watching this video guys and i will see you soon bye